Hello and welcome to a best automatic winter special part two. Or what? Well, I'm your host, Captain Pervert. And I'm your host, Captain Gorgeous. And I'm your host, Captain Know It All. So, as you all are well uh, uh, know that we've done this challenge before with basses, but a lot of famous directors are well known for filming in very epic, dangerous situations, right? But what you don't actually don't see with all these directors and they're doing movies or all, you know, because they do all them fancy camera handles with them swooping cameras and all that lot. Very impressive and all that lot. And you'd be impressive watching this, maybe. Just get on with it. So, what I'm getting at is the equipment they have to use is it has to get transported up there. Won't it? Well, yeah, obviously. So, in them dangerous conditions, you could be thinking, you know, the vehicles could slip off the road, getting fuel up there, just to get your horses and your cranes and your graveling hats and all that lot, you know, just to make sure that you can make a good footage movie, or what? Right. What are you trying to get at? Well, the directors thought that's a good idea, you know, because you think of vehicle breakdowns and all that lot, that, you know, the classic, you know, breakdown track. Right. So, the director, or, or the producers, or directors, you know what I'm saying, thought it was a good idea that we should do it in um, broken down trucks. Why? Because they thought it would be good. And they, they spent all that money using all the equipment to get it up there. It's on a bleeding game. Well, yeah, but if you're doing it in real life, it would cost you a fortune. And obviously, we're not that rich, are we? You know, because, you know. And, you know. Oh, gosh. You know, like, totally a job. Oh, well. Right, you know, when you listen to Matt Mamro, you know, when, when Lamborghini and all that, little Italian job in that. Right, what's that got to do with it? Well, it's in winter and it's winterous road conditions, you know, you'd be thinking nobody with gravel filling potholes and all that up, but you know, you, you need vehicles, big vehicles. You're just rambling, just get on what we're doing. We're doing tow trucks on the dangerous road on GTA 5. What the hell was that about? What, that clip? I thought it was interesting and really good. Yeah, we're moving on as we're all focusing on our not so time racing driver. On the X, it, it is in its own tow truck. And if you remember from part one when we did it with passes, that we have to do the most dangerous road on a timer. Yeah, we all established that because we did, you know, we had to do it. So we've got to do all this again in these things now well yes and the producers right have uh, come out with another rule as well with this to make it more challenging you know your vehicle you're towing right if you lose that you're out of it or make sure that you know you can get your vehicle back it's you know say if your vehicle goes off the cliff and the vehicle that car gets destroyed you're out of the challenge so make sure that both vehicles have got to complete this challenge so the gimp is showing us how it's done and obviously we've got to see how the score is see, the gimp's stuck that's good that means that we might have the opportunity to actually beat the gimp yeah that ain't too bad because this is our not so time, not so good racing driver because uh, as you know it's everyone that again is not the best, best driver. Yeah, but the gimp is more quicker than this. 
Well, yeah. That means that we're not really good drivers, and we do a car program. Look, just keep quiet, you know, you know. Why? Well, he's sort of giving us a bad image, you know, making out we're not that really good at doing a car program. Well, we're not, are we? Well, don't be saying that, Captain Gorgeous. We're trying to do our best. I mean, look at the dangers we've got to be challenged to do. You know, watching our uh, not both time racing drivers doing it, but, you know, obviously, you know, you know, we've got to, like, do that, haven't we? Yeah, we're, we're rambling again. So, we're focusing on the game, and so we've all seen this before on this um, treacherous road, on this old classic game, GTA 5. What was out for quite, you know, two centuries nearly, wasn't it? You know, because it all that long, that, you know, before GTA 6 came out, and everyone's getting easy to get it, and all that lot, didn't they? Well, yeah, because we forgot about, you know, certain things you can do on GTA 5. Well, yeah. But, yeah, this is one of these craziest things that we got up to in the past, yeah. This, this, this weird, strange road. And obviously around the winter time, um, in real life, around Christmas, and am not going to acknowledge that, or logic, I would say, that they made it snow, didn't they? And, uh, yeah, we thought it was quite interesting to do this, didn't we? Well, our producers actually thought it made it more interesting, hasn't it? Doing this and challenging this now, didn't they? I didn't know it was going to carry on continually happening. Well, the thing is, though, back in the, you know, because it obviously has been recorded and that, but in the year 2023, before, you know, GTA 6 came out, we only had to stick with the classic game GTA 5. And obviously, at that year, that the snow lasted for a few more days than everyone expected. So, obviously, our producers thought, well, this is a good opportunity to keep on having these things and challenges with different variety of vehicles. And obviously the tow truck came into mind because obviously at that right like that year the you know the um, chop shop was open as well. Right, okay. So that is some very interesting continue advice. But we might be commenting and getting worried about how the gimp is handling this. Well, technically I I'm, I'm thinking, you know, as long as we get to see the time at what the gimp does it in, that hopefully we can beat the gimp. So you're hoping we can beat the gimp? Well, yeah. Well, it doesn't look that really good for us because obviously doing it in buses is a little bit different. I mean, this vehicle could be a lot slower. The gimp doesn't seem to be really... Um, you know, going this quick. Yeah, I mean, maybe the conditions have got more atrocious and all that. No, look, look, because it's still snowing on GTA, it doesn't mean the game gets any worse, does it, surely? Well, do you know? Do you design the game? Well, no, I didn't. Oh, well, you don't know everything then, do you? Oh, alright, fair enough. So, we're watching the game doing it and it's done it in like you know five minutes and that yeah and that was the other rule as you may notice in part one that yeah we have to go on the dangerous road turn back round and come back and uh, like and uh, explain again this is a little bit different if you lose your car right as I said that you know that car falls off you know and uh, you can't get your car back what I've noticed just now, that the gimp has just realised that the car is unhitched. So, the gimp's got to get that vehicle, because if the, if the gimp got back to the finishing line without that vehicle, it don't matter. And we've got to stick to these rules, we've got to make sure that we 
don't have an itch in our car and it falls off the cliff or anything if we lose our car yeah you, you've already mentioned that i think people can establish the rules so finally the gimp has actually totally made it yeah so the gimp has done it in quite a decent time what the hell is that it's our scoreboard that's in your bedroom in it well yeah right what's it doing there and yeah, we're moving on, right, because it's um, your footage in there, we're seeing you driving your tow truck. So you should be commenting about what you're doing. Well, obviously, as you notice, I have got into the seat and I'm starting to drive the um, tow truck. So, the time is on, as you all can gather, and everyone's noticing that, you know, you've got to beat the game. And hopefully, you might do it. But, yeah, hopefully I will. And, um, obviously we saw how the game sort of failed, you know, to get round certain corners without them big pebbles in the way. And it lost its vehicle. So, it's all lacking God for you then, isn't it, Captain Gorgeous? Yes, it is. So, hopefully, I will beat the score of our not so tame racing driver and doing that isn't doing very well is it well obviously we're watching the recording of me doing it and obviously yeah it's, it's a bit of a tricky bend going down there right so you come in to around them pebbles and uh we got that mate you've done it a lot better in the game because you had a hard time getting around that didn't it yeah it did actually didn't it yeah all right, well, no, Mr. Captain, know it all, but we don't want any of it consuming your advice, right? It's down to, you know, what, what the attention and the scene on the build up of this. Look, you're just wittering on, so stop interrupting me. It's all meant to be three of us to comment about, you know, our performances and how we do this challenge. And um, seeing Captain Gorgeous is doing it first. It, technically it should be him doing it you know commenting about how tricky it was and how dangerous it was yeah i should do yeah yeah mr captain pervert interfering all that lot trying to take over the show yes i am one of the main presenters in this right and um obviously i am driving my red little truck yeah because he likes red vehicles Especially killing ones, you know, that, that um, you know, Christine and that. Look, I told you way, way back. It's a different shade of red. I know, like your lorry's a different shade of red. Anyhow, we're not talking about that because a lot of people will be watching this and might think, oh, I haven't seen these previous episodes, I can't be bothered. I just want to watch Winter Olympic type stuff. Right, what are you on about now? Well, the thing is, we're doing it in the snow, and a lot of people like watching things about snow, don't they? Like what? Well, winter sports, you know, you know, Winter Olympics and all that. Look, obviously, this is the Winter Olympics, right? But, you know, obviously, you know, if the captain brought that out, there's a new challenge and all that. Look, you know, with, um, you know, like, some form of sport, it'd be quite good, wouldn't it? So people want to watch people driving in the snow. Well, yeah, and they make it a sporting uh, event. Why would they do that for? Well, it'd be quite interesting. If anybody's watching us doing this and find it interesting, maybe, the, 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 you know, they could, like, you know, get in touch with the Winter Olympics and say, never mind all that running around in skis and all that, look. Let's do it the easy way. Let's do it, you know, driving and having the heater on in, inside the cabins and all that lot. Keeping nice and crispy and warm and all that lot. You are talking a load of dribble again. Hey yo, everybody wanted to be focusing now on that biggest highlight of me actually turning back round and coming back into this horrible situation and danger I am. Achieving to beat the game. Right. Yeah, because we technically, why I'm meant to keep this um, quite dispensable and um, 
the unit of pervert, you know, you keep whittering on about rubbish. Well, you might not work about rubbish. I don't. I bet you think this could be an interesting sport. Well, we'll see how many views it gets. And I can't see the Winter Olympics bringing a new um, form of, um, you know, contest with people just sitting back and driving. You know, it is a, like an epic, dangerous road, say. And yeah, I would, you know. Not maybe the Winter Olympics, maybe something else, you know, like a winter, you know, extreme driving or something. Oh, bloody hell, you're just talking a load of dribble, aren't you? And you're interrupting the most epic, dangerous bit I'm doing, you know, few inches I've got. And I've got to be very careful, and I am trying to do this as quick as I can to beat the game. Well, lacking our blading tight and how slow you're taking it. Eh? You know, you're not going to beat the game doing that. I oh, don't forget, the game had a hard time, right? I lost its vehicle. And maybe that's why I was taking my time a little bit, because I didn't want that vehicle unhitching. If that unhitched, my time would have been just a lot worse and obviously you know I would like to beat the game but yeah it don't look too good here right because like you're taking your damn lady top and I won't care right the not so time racing driver had a few little tumbles and little accidents and you know and um, you you're just taking it bleeding easy aren't you look oh, the thing is it it's risky, right? I'm, I'm trying my best, trying to beat the game, and um, obviously, you know, it's one of them challenges, and obviously, yes, everybody be a bit disappointed that, you know, um, I haven't literally, you know, what to do it, have I? No, you're not, are you? You're, you're taking it sweet time doing that. Yeah, but if we notice what the game did, it went down there really fast and the car unhitched. And that's what I am trying to invent. What? You're just making lame excuses. And, you know, your time lacking. You, you, you're rubbish, aren't you? Look, I tried my best, everyone, and obviously, yes, uh, I finally got there. All in one piece, so, obviously. Yeah, rubbish, innit? Ah, yeah, who's next? Well, it be Mr. Know It All, wouldn't it? Yes, it is me. So, obviously, um, I haven't done these challenges. I've only done one with the bus. So, obviously, I'm first time trying it with this vehicle now. Wow, 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 having a first go at trying this vehicle. Wow, wow. What are you trying to get at? Well, the thing is, though, you two have had a bit more experience driving on this road, and obviously, um, having difficulty trying to get off and set off in this vehicle, and obviously, the timer went off. You does my in lame excuses, aren't you? You mean you didn't have much opportunity to beat the game as well? So we're going to see your fudge and see um, how good you are. Yeah, I bet you're going to be like bloody Captain Gorgeous. Rubbish, aren't you? Well, yes, obviously, I, I know what happens. And, um, yeah, y you're all going to be a bit, um, yeah, disappointed. Right, so. You, 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 so what are you bleeding doing there? Um, this is my problem. Yeah, um, I... For somebody who makes the mix to know it all. Don't know how to keep a bloody vehicle between the ditches, do ya? Um, well... Yeah, alright, fair enough, you got me there. Yes, I, I had a bit of a tumble and I had a bit of an accident. So, you're just going to be bleeding, wasting time trying to get out of this. Now, another thing, everybody, right? That the rules are, as well, if your vehicle gets destroyed, right? And, um... 
you're out of the challenge. And another thing, if you get your vehicle stuck and there's somehow you can't get back on the um, track or anything, that they're going to disqualify you, aren't they? And uh, it looks like you're straddling here, aren't you? So, you know, uh, what's going to happen? Well, unfortunate for everyone, you'd be thinking, you know, it's a little bit awkward where I am. So, the best way is sort of like, you know, I thought, well, I'm going to have to back it up. There's no way I can get it out from here. And, um, yeah, I'm really genuinely very stuck. And, um, yeah, I can't get the vehicle out. And, um, even going backwards and forwards but as you can plainly see that yeah I failed so sorry everyone so there's only one person that can do this then isn't that and you all have to rely on me that I am going to do as best as I can to see what my own time was to beat the bleeding gimp and you watch the expert me what because I'm good at this, what? Because what have you two did bleeding there? I mean, one crashes and one takes his time. Well, we'll see how shabby you are. I don't have to brag about it, right? Yeah, well, we're watching your effort now, so... In due in how good a driver you are, then. Well, I am quite good, because obviously, I know, um... As you notice, I am driving up this hill, and um, you noticing that I wasn't driving like you, Mr. Know It All. What do you mean by that? Well, first thing, I haven't gone off the road, have I? Yeah, but you've hit a tree, though, haven't you? And you moaned about me doing that. Alright, but yeah, like I say, avoided that um, big giant pebble ish, and now. Not like the gimp, because the gimp fully stopped and I just smashed through it, mate. You know, because I'm well good at driving. Really good there. You went even totally off road. Well, it's quite off roading, isn't it? You know, it's only off roading track, isn't it? And I can't bloody see the bloody road because it's all bloody covered in bloody snow, isn't it? Well, just excuses, aren't you? So. As you can all gather, I'm trying to beat the bloody game as obviously at the time and these two are going to start whinging about it. You know, because you're bloody upset because you didn't do it. Right, okay, so we need to comment about what you're actually doing and uh, the dangers and stuff. Well, obviously, one first danger is obviously the during the day. It's nice to have it nice and sunny, and obviously it's, it makes it easy for the director to film it and all that. Look, but yeah, there is one certain issue. Yeah, you know, hikers, and uh, yeah, if you run over too many hikers, that makes the um, you know it interesting. Why is that? Well, if you get kill hikers, you get stars, and obviously you get stars, you get the police chasing you. And obviously on our previous one, obviously with the batteries that we, you know, we had police cars and obviously it didn't help with a certain, you know, member, you, Mr. Captain Know It All, that you, you can get up a hill because of the police, could you? Yes. This time you can't blame the police making you stop this time because we just witnessed you actually literally don't even know how to keep a vehicle on the road and drove off it, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So, you want to look at the skill what I'm doing. What? Running each hike is over. Oh, 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 them people what like hiking. Now, whatever. They're just a nuisance walking out there. They should know that, it, it, well, it's not a proper role, but obviously, you know, people are titled to take shortcuts. What? And obviously, it's the most dangerous road. Why can't we just drive vehicles like that? But, obviously, as you notice, I've finally got round, and obviously I'm going the way back, and um, I'm managing to get that round, and I'll, I'm surely, I'm going to beat the game. 
because, you know, my run is a little bit smoother, but obviously, you know, if anything's really slowing me down, is these bleeding charges or bloody, um, you know, eyes and all that lot, because that's all they're bloody doing, you know. Every time I run over or one of them, they, it slows the vehicle down. Did you know that? Right. So why are you deliberately hitting them then? I'm not hitting them, they're just in my way, aren't they? And obviously, you know, if I've tried to go random, it's going to slow me down, and another thing, I might go off the road like you did, and you went off the road, and there weren't even no hikers are there. So you can't make that a bleeding excuse as well. So, as you can see, that, you know, you deliberately ran that one over, you know. You cruel, you! Oh, no, I can't help it that that hiker was standing right in the middle, plain sight, been a nuisance. Obviously, I'm on a challenge, right? Don't they realise that when people are driving on roads really fast, that they could be on a time trial against somebody else racing, and they should realise to be, you know, sceptically and get out of the way. And, um, it's not my fault. That is your fault. Oh, no! You messed up there, aren't you? Well, yeah, I did a bit, actually. Yeah, I did, actually, you know. But, you know, it slowed me down. I mean, you got to help me, right? I will confess that, you know, driving on the snow, it's slippery. Yeah, we can gather that. But it's very slippery in snow. Look, you know, it has an effect on the vehicle. And obviously, you know, uh, it, that, that vehicle is not actually equipped to go on snow. So obviously, you know, it takes a certain amount of skill to handle that vehicle, doesn't it? Meaning that technically Mr. Know It All couldn't really help it because he slipped off that road, didn't he? And me taking my time and being cautious a bit that, you know, I was really, really, really very, very responsible. And you, well, huh, yeah, right. You said you were going to beat the game. Well, yeah, okay, but all you've been doing is running hikers over and, um, well, going a little bit too fast that your vehicle skids out of control. What's going to be next? You're going to lose your car like the gig did at this point. Now, I've got a you know advantage now. I didn't mess up. So, read it in a week, boys. Yeah, I'm not nearly there. So, as you're going to see, that my time is going to be more impressive than your time at all, isn't it? So, I've done it. Yeah. So, read it in a week, boys. So we're seeing the score and as you can tell I got nothing. So I have to settle for the booby prize. What the hell's going on there? Well the thing is though the producers said that more or less you know for our punishment who sort of failed very terrible that I had to remain staying with this um you know this you know what you keep saying a van with seats and yes it is the airport bus and um, in 2023 they was this um, thing of a treasure hunt looking for clues for a specific um, item like what well the thing is though um, there were clues like you know finding remains of dead bodies um, as you can hear this certain noise every time we were doing this we heard a certain noise didn't we and um, that was the reason it was a white shirt I can't say bloody anything neither can I what where's the shirt why are we looking for shirts and all that lot well there's some certain clues in this and it will make it mysterious and all this lot but obviously as you can tell this vehicle 
well, it's not the best off-roading vehicle at all, but it managed to do the job. Slu you know, very slurry, or slurry, very surely, but slowly. What did you say like that? Well, slurry, because it's useless. Right, and what's that mean? Do we need to get a dictionary or something? Right, that weird word you're saying. Well, no, but as you see, dead deers, shirts, tents with blood on. You can tell that this treasure hunt isn't really sort of a nice one. While we're doing a treasure hunt, is it got treasure in it? Well, no. What then? So, what are we looking for? Well, there's certain clues that the, you can tell that you know to keep the mysterious thing going that you know it, it's something you know scary or something you know we're seeing like remains of cars you know bodies it looked like a tailor's dummy that didn't it really well technically yeah it did actually but it's might look a bit scary something mysterious that we're collecting these clues right for what well the moment of truth is that I've collected all the gizmos, all the stuff, and um, the idea was now for my reward that I've got to go out searching in this great big circle. And um, obviously, you know, it was in the woods or something, and I thought, you know, pursuing in this vehicle, you know, the. Um, airport bus as everyone keeps referring it's a van with seats in but it's not very powerful and uh, yeah in the snow as well didn't really help it as well try to go off-roading with it but what I needed this vehicle for as the producer says you will definitely be really appreciate this vehicle you really need it and I'm like what for well the idea of this um, hunt back in 2023 was, yes, for a skin. Right. What? Skin. Well, as you can see at the bottom of the map, that there's a red symbol. And um, for the great big build-up, as I'm trying to really milk it as much as I can, that, yeah, the red object, is the skin and if I get this um, object I end up with that skin right so technically we're getting a new suit then yes we are uh, but the first thing first thing I have to you know kill it right but why are you using a bus yeah I want to know why you're using a bus for well the thing is is you know for hunting you're hunting. Yeah. In that vehicle. What can't even off-road. Well, yeah. And that's the reason why I'm on the top of the roof of a bus. Because there's a great big white yeti, isn't there? Oh, I remember this way, way back. Yeah, there was a hunt when we didn't bother, did we? So the producers got you doing this then, did they? Yes. And I will actually guaranteed I appreciate I was using this vehicle because yeah I had some form of high ground and as I can easily um, demonstrate here that as you can gather that you know if I go out of the bus and start driving it hoping this thing you know this thing was that chasing me all over the place that you know um, it, it doesn't really happen especially if your vehicle is stuck and um, all the Yeti does is actually grab Aldi and pull you out and yeah, you're best running away as quick as you can and as you can see, the animal still stays there you know, a reluctant lot to do all and just staring at you like, a, you know, a sitting target and that's why the producer says you will appreciate having this vehicle so one thing I will say about the booby prize you know because I said it was my um, consolation of um, you know failing that task that I had to do this um, you know 
get this suit for your lads and um, obviously yeah using the bus it wasn't too bad but I have to demonstrate the faults if I did it you know sort of wrong like you know because this how Yeti, come you dress like me then in the gooch outfit oh you mean the cheaper version um well it was just how the producers had me dressing up at that time obviously i wore that outfit um when we did the um challenge with the buses um but yeah so yeah the point is um obviously it was another christmas um outfit you could have got as well and was the um the main gooch outfit I mean, this is like the, like you said, the plastic mask version, you know, the cheaper one, and um, obviously um, this one, the white Yeti, is the major one, and obviously, I don't know how other people managed to get the Yeti, they might have made more interesting videos, but obviously, on the best automatic, this is how our producers want us to do it, is using the bus, and um, obviously, they want us to show how difficult it was with the yeti as well because um if i didn't have that vehicle on high ground as you, as you can see I'm, I'm casually shooting at the um yeti and obviously i wonder if many people used um, more heavy weapons like you know rpgs on the yeti and all that lot because um obviously this animal could take some form of punishment and um, obviously the producers do want me to sort of like demonstrate um, how powerful this creature was I mean it all it had to do is actually you know get older yeah but it did it pulled you out of the van didn't it well yeah but it didn't get a chance to do anything but when this creature physically attacks you that is it. What do you mean physically attack? Yeah. Well, it, it what it does. It's actually it it, 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 it lashes out by punching you or summer and um, obviously it's got a very strong um, punch and obviously the producers want me to sort of demonstrate how strong this um, animal is. Right, but you all you're doing is like running back up on top of the roof and just casually shooting it on the police that there. That was another problem it, the, to demonstrate that you may think you got the police thinking the police might shoot the Yeti for you. No, um, actually they'll come after you. I and mean, some strange reason with me shooting the Yeti. I got one star on me, so obviously the producers want me to run away from the, um, you know, the Yeti, and obviously it caught up with me, and yeah, it punched me. Now, believe it or not, you may have just seen that, and you thought, wow, well, I've been punched, and I just fell. But here it is again on your proper game mode, and. Yeah, I got wasted, and, and you can see how quick the um, Yeti was. But this is how I was meant to do: is obviously to show you, you know, casually, you know, wait for it to come on the road and climb on top of the vehicle. And um, I bet most people did this, you know, to shoot it from a high distance. And yeah, it was that straightforward to kill the uh, animal. And obviously, you know. You've seen it with the, um, you know, with the directors and all that lot with them, um, that um, famous um, classic um, rock star editor at the time, you know. Um, but a lot of people will miss that, obviously, um, a lot of us do. But yeah, this is how simple it was on game mode. Obviously, you can see me um, changing the clip and um, automatically firing at it and uh, you could tell it, it took a lot of bullets to actually kill it so yeah and my safe haven on top of the bus and as you can see i've put you know rockstar edit on and that's how much uh, it recorded and yeah so that was my punishment and really technically on that airy wet suit i think it's time to end the show don't you think lads i think so too